So the um, rebooted the machine. Let's see if it fires up. Don't seem to be doing too much. Oh, there we go. The hard drive lights flickering away with fuel. It's actually starting. Let me make sure I've uh, put that crystal in properly. It's flashing away. The hard drive just flickered for a second. And we're possibly starting up, are we? Well, that makes any difference. And it's an XC68060 RC50. I think it's booting now, it seems more, more, more keen, more keen, is that a word? Okay, we're back, we're back now at, uh, f oh, it's 140, yeah, 140, so where was it? I know this is quite an old version of Sysinfo, but who cares? So we'll do the drive speed, see what the difference is, at 50 megahertz, Probably not that much difference. 2 4. It's not exactly earth shattering, is it? Okay, speed. Speed will be considerably different. Oh, it's not too bad. 63 times the 500 and 39 MIPS. Okay. I haven't got any faster crystals. If I'm going to have a little rummage around. If I find any faster ones, we'll try and clock it up to 75 or 80 and see what it does. See if it gets anywhere near the vampire. So I'll be back in. Hello, boys and girls. We're back again with uh, another video. I've just fired up my Amiga 4000 motherboard, which is sat on the chair by the side of me. Uh, and connected to it, we have a Cyberstorm 68060. It's running a classic workbench of some description. Uh, what is it? Oh, who cares? Okay, fair enough. Anyway, it's a 68060. It is running at a strange 64 megahertz purely because I can't find a 6060 megahertz crystal. I have numerous crystals all over the place. I can find lots of 50s, lots of 40s, lots of 33s. Can't find a 66, but anyway, it doesn't matter. 64 is new enough. I know what. Uh, I know how I ended up with a 64. It's when I try. I was trying to get an a Blizzard, I think, 1260 to 66. It just wouldn't take it, but it happily ran at 64, so I took that. But anyway. This is a 68060 running at 64 megahertz. I was going to say the name of the crystal, but I can't read the writing, so I won't bother. So if it crashes or plays up, my apologies, but that's what happens when you're um, that's what happens when you're overclocking. So let's um, let's see what boards we've got. A Zorro 2 board. Okay, no information at all, memory. We have what? eight megabyte, what? what are you talking about? Anyway, drive speed, DHO. What is it? It's a fast file system, okay. Two six. Oh, I thought it'd be a little quicker than that, but anyway. Let's measure the speed. It should be 80 times or, yeah, 81 times faster than a 500. Uh, CPU is 50 MIPS. Okay, fair enough. What I'll do now is I'll turn it off. I'll put it back to 50 megahertz. I will run the test again. Oh, it's 140 meg faster on what you're talking about. Um, I'll power it off and um, we'll come back at 50 megahertz and compare and then swap over to the vampire and we'll uh, compare.com again.
So, bad news unfortunately, the 68060, or the XC68060 in this case, won't take a 75 or 80 crystal. It just comes up with a yellow screen, which um, which is not surprising, to be honest. And um, that's okay. Uh, I've put a crystal in now with no markings on it. There's absolutely nothing written on the crystal. It's just nice and shiny. So we might as well stick that in and try it. Seems to be running. Okay. I do have another um, phase five accelerator I could pop in. Seventy-one times, uh, seventy-one times faster, which is forty-three MIPS. So what does that equate to? Not sure. Could well be a fifty. Okay, so I think that'll do for the phase five Amiga four thousand. We can see what the speeds are. So what we'll do now is we'll just quickly change over to the Vampire. Just do a sys test so you can see the difference from the old generation hardware to the newer generation hardware. Hello again. So we're back with the Amiga uh, A600 with the Vampire. Uh, I know this is a later version of SysInfo. Uh, SysInfo 4, okay. But not that it really matters. So we'll do a speed test. And as long as I'm using the patched version of SysInfo, it will run merrily along. 100 MIPS, 188 times faster than 600 which is a 500. So there's a considerable difference there in speeds between the old generation stuff and the new generation. And let's face it, the Vampire FPGA can have a lot more performance squeeze out of it, I'm sure. Gunner and the guys are doing a fantastic job. So that's it really. I didn't... Uh, I don't want to do any, an intensive test and doing demo by demo and all that kind of stuff. Um, what I will do at some point as the um, Vampire software matures and hopefully we can run AGA stuff or perhaps FPU stuff as well then I could do a full step-by-step picture-in-picture or half-screen half-screen comparison of both machines side by side and that will give a clear demonstration of the difference between um, old gen and new gen or next gen if you like whatever you want to call it but at the moment I can't do that so I'll keep the test simple a raw performance speed let's excuse me let's say everyone who has an Amiga has this info it's resource friendly it will run on uh, an A1000 from a floppy disk drive up to an A4000 tower so um, anyone can run this info so that's it really boys and girls, I just wanted to uh, do a little quick test so you can see the differences between old and new. I know it's not an exhaustive test, but it's just, you know, it's just a bit of fun and that's what the Amiga is, that's what it's all about, fun. So that's it, thank you, uh, I shall see you next time, take care.